Hello everyone, it's Mir. In this video we're going over some of the winter update balance changes, and we're going to talk about Sakura. Even though she's one of the characters with the shortest patch notes, she actually got some meaningful changes. Many players already thought this character was in a good spot last season, and these new buffs could really help her to move into a higher tier, so let's go ahead and see what's changed. First of all on the list is the change to the Chin Buster Kick down for Heavy Kick. It now knocks down opponents that are hit in the air. This does a couple of things. For one, it improves its cap abilities as an anti-air. The move is not very fast, but it's possible to use if you are ready for a jump. The hitboxes are actually quite good, so will work reliably as long as the timing is right. Both on natural hit and on a trade, you'll be able to get heavy punch DP, which converts into damage and ulti. If you're unsure about the height, medium punch DP should work every time as well. You can also cancel into V-Trigger if you want. This opens up more opportunities for some damaging juggles. The other effect is that if this move hits an opponent trying to backdash or jump out of your pressure, you will get a knockdown and an opportunity for a small juggle. Light Punch DP works reliably. Even if you don't convert into anything, it will give you another opportunity to pressure the opponent thanks to the knockdown. Now let's look at the changes to her Tatsu. Light Tatsu is now plus 2 on hit instead of plus 1. Again, this has a couple of effects. First of all, being slightly more plus on hit means that Sagra will be able to frame trap into standing medium punch even against 3 frame attacks, while previously you'd get stuffed against people mashing 3 framers, so that's a nice change and an overall buff to her pressure. As a consequence on counter hit, this move is now plus 4, which means that it will convert into standing light kick from any range. Before you had to convert into your 3 framer crutching light punch, which required you to be quite close. This gives her more combo consistency and more opportunities to come into damage. Onto her EX Tatsu. It now combos for crutching light punch, thanks to faster startup when cancelled from it. This gives Sakura the opportunity to combo into EX Tatsu from a low confirm, giving her good Oki and great corner carry. On top of this, EX Tatsu is now V trigger cancelable. Because the hit you cancel doesn't knock down, it actually gives Sakura a standing combo. It is so plus you're even able to combo into down for heavy kick, although you probably wouldn't want to do that. Ideally, you'd want to combo into your BMB for Oki, because the scaling is quite intense, so it's not really worth it to spend resources, unless you really need to kill. On top of all these nice things on hit, EX Tatsu into V-Trigger on block is plus 4, leading to some very strong pressure. A standing medium punch is 5 frames, so it is basically unavoidable, and a crouching minion kick will catch backdash attempts grounded as well as clipping people that are trying to walk away. The Tatsu was already safe on block, at minus 2, so you could throw it out in neutral to catch the opponent off guard. Now it is even stronger, as the V-Trigger conversion lets you combo or pressure on block, giving you a move that you can kinda use to skip neutral and be right in your opponent's face. Just be mindful to not be too predictable with it, because you can get neutral jumped on. Finally, the last change is to her V-Skill 1, specifically to the dive kick follow-up. It now doesn't add as much to the juggle state of combos, so it is a little bit more consistent in V-Trigger 2 juggles, especially when you run out of V-Meter during a combo. So you can do a meterless ender like medium DP instead of having to spend the X bar. It's a nice quality of life change, but overall nothing too impressive. So what do you guys think about these Sakura changes? They might not be too many, but they're definitely a nice addition to your already pretty solid kit. I personally think she's now a very competitive character, and we already saw how she could do very well in tournaments in the past, so I look forward to what the Sakura players can come up with. Let me know in the comments below about your thoughts on the matter. As always, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We have a lot of new content coming up, so I will see you next time.